Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Boruto Chapter 22. Uh, when we last left off, um, Team Konohamaru was, like, plotting on how to beat Ao. Uh, Ao had a quick encounter with Tashin Koji, who reminded him his main focus should be on securing the vessel and not on killing Team Konohamaru. They should probably kill them, too. Um... And then the fight happened, and there was what a fucking fight it was. We saw Boruto and the gang's great strategy to try to like drain kind uh, of drain Ao's chakra with the chakra blade. Um, and then um, Boruto got like a, a good Rasengan on Ao's like metal arm. Uh, that's kind of where we left off last month. So we have this uh, cover color cover like mid fight between Boruto and Ao, a super battle, science versus ninjutsu. Chapter 22, the conclusion to a fierce battle, because that is a super subtle title. Um, alright, so yeah, um, Al is kind of like gone, like sliding across the ground a little bit, and he's a ways away from the rest of the group, we're all facing off with him. An explosive was sending on from Boruto with all his might. His fierce battle versus Al was finally at its climax. Uh, and Katasuke runs up, who I guess has been hiding for this whole thing. Young master, that went well, Katasuke-sensei, but seems like that wasn't the finishing blow. And yeah, Al gets up, like, his arm is just, or the, like, the jutsu-absorbing arm has, like, just been demolished by the Rasengan. Uh, looks like you can't even use that thing, eh? Because you can't absorb jutsu anymore. <laughs> and, uh, Al kind of glares at them, and Konohamaru notices something. And there's something fly, like, coming down from above Boruto. And, uh, Bor Konohamaru grunts and gets up and, like, yells Boruto's name out and pushes, pushes him away. They're not about to kill Konohamaru, are they? He got hit by something. What the fuck is that? It doesn't look like it like pierced him or anything. Because there's no like really like hole. Like, it hits his bag and his hole is still kind of intact. His bag is intact. There's no hole in the bag. Um, and yeah, everyone kind of looks on in shock and Al has an evil grin. Sensei! Damn it, what was that? Something suddenly came from the sky? And he sees two like flying saucers. Alright. I mean, I guess we went full alien with the Otsutsukis, so I don't see why not. But anyway, uh, Sarada and Mitsuki kind of, like, come to Konohamaru. Sensei! It's all right, he's still breathing, but he's unconscious. And Kitasuke recognizes them. Those are... I give up. To think that it would reach a point where I'd really have to use these mirror drones. S wait, what are they? Do they, like, reflect attacks at people? But what kind of attack was that? What the heck are those? That's my question, uh, Boruto. Is that a reference to the Ninja Info cards? Uh, the, wasn't it the old meme of, like, with Sakura's reaction, the what the heck are those uh, video? Whatever, that's a discussion for another day. Uh, perhaps it seems as though they're using Al's chakra, like wireless transmissions, in order to fly. They appear to be devices employed for remote offensive strikes. The jutsu bullets can soar like how rain comes from the skies above. So this is Ochan's trump card. And it says here, Ochan is a Japanese word close to uncle. Just, just put uncle instead of Ochan, alright? This is, I'm reading this in English, so like, this is, this is like smacks of like, just like stinks of, uh, of, like, elitism, I guess. Regarding just these things, I wouldn't want to be using them if I didn't have to. Alright then, I understand. This way of fighting doesn't seem characteristic of a ninja at all. Do you intend to provoke me? Not at all. That's just how I think about it, Datemasa. And uh, Al raises his uh, fake arm up like this. Uh, and the, the mirror drones like, go flying up into the air. Do you even know what it means to be characteristic of a ninja? I've abandoned being a ninja. Through these new powers, I've transcended into a new kind of human being. Sarada, Mitsuki, I'll entrust, both sense I'll entrust Sensei to both of you. Leave this to me. Eh, wait a second, Boruto! And Boruto... Uh, I can't quite tell what he's doing. With the, the mirror drones are like raining chakra down on them. Uh, it just hits all over the ground. Uh, and Sarada jumps out of the way with with Konohamaru, and Mitsuki grabs Katasuke, uh, and Boruto activates the, like, the jutsu absorption bolt, or ball, and all gets absorbed by the sphere. To have driven me into a corner to this extent, I quite frankly have to praise you. Nevertheless, this is the end for you all. <sighs> At this rate, it'll reach its limit. And he uh, like dashes out of the way. And uh, both Sarada and Mitsuki are hiding behind a tree. Boruto! Young master! Uh, and we see it's like this huge like sto like dust like sweeping um, in front of Ao. 
and Owl's just kind of like looking looking down, and he senses something through the dust, and three Boruto's come flying at him. Hmm. And only one of them actually has the arm, which is a really nice, um, like a really nice uh, detail. I noticed. Uh, I imagine that's not the real Boruto; it's just a shadow clone with the arm. Uh, I imagine that's how he's gonna trick him. Hmm. A Kage Bunshin. Uh, and he like smacks one of the shadow clones away with like his elbow, and it goes flying and disappears. And the other two come flying at him, and he dodges the first one's punch, uh, and like hits the other one in the stomach, or it might be the same one. I can't really tell. Uh, uh, and then there's just the one left, and this is the one with the uh, jutsu arm. Damn it! And he goes and like tries to do a kick at Al's head, but Al ducks and grabs Boruto by the throat. Gah! Kage Bunshin is certainly a powerful jutsu. But even though the Bunshins can materialize as objects or other beings, they just can't copy complex machines. Since you're wearing the arm, you must be the real one. That's clear with just one glance. Or he's tricking you. Uh, and Boruto is like... You know, he looks like he's in trouble, and he act and uh, Al activates the like his arm blade. Um, right then, when I met you by the cha by chance in the thunder car, then I aggressively thrust a screwdriver at you like this at that time. Because if I had been your enemy at that point in time, you'd have died. But it seems your fate would turn out to be like this sooner or later. Uh, and Al grunts, and Barto is like squirming at him. And Sarada runs out, that's my girl, but she's, like, grabbed by Mitsuki's, like, stretchy arm. Uh, right as more mirror drones, like, rain down from the skies. Barely saving Sarada. Don't be in a rush. Wait right there. I'll play with you once I've finished him. You already have lost as a ninja. And Barta, Barta's trying to go all moral high ground on Ao, because that's totally gonna work. <sighs> you can't win against me. And Owl kind of glares at him. And yep, it was a Shadow Clone. I fucking called it. I called it. I have an arm drops to the ground. What? Uh, Ninja. Must read what's underneath what's un Must read underneath what's underneath. And he crawls out of, like, the rubble behind Owl. I see. He was daring enough to even let a bunch and equip the arm. In order to give off the impression that it was the real body. Isn't that kind of like what Naruto did against Neji? Uh, how, like, he tricked Neji into thinking that he would, like, hide back while the clones fought Neji. And then he tricked him again by, like, uh, running in with the rest of the clones. Uh, yeah. Those, I feel I see a bit of parallels in that, between uh, that and this. This guy. So he made three of those bunchin. And then he activates the chakra blade, which he cannot do for long, and slices it up and out. And I think it's a direct hit, it looks like. Yeah, he he's destroyed Al's fake arm. It's just gone. And, and his fake leg. So Al is now one arm, one leg man. Uh, and he th throws the chakra blade away, activates a Rasengan, and smashes it into Ao's side. Rasengan! Oh, shit. Alright, I think that's the end of this fight. Whoa! And he just goes flying. Like, s throws him into the ruins they were hiding out in. Fuck. And yeah, Ao's just, like, crumpled on the ground. And Boruto kind of, like, you know, exhaustedly walks over to him. And stands over him. Well done. I've been utterly defeated. And Boruto gets out a screwdriver. <laughs> please tell me. Please tell me he kills out with a screwdriver. And he holds the screwdriver up to Al's neck. Hmm. So you did it. I can't move anymore. I don't even have any fighting spirits. You can easily kill me with that thin screwdriver. And Boruto just looks at him and drops it on the ground. I did it. Your broken le limbs still aren't healed, right? Do you sympathize with your enemies? You're just as soft as your father. Sooner or later, doing this will prove fatal for you. Just like it proved fatal for him. And um, Boruto glares back at Ao. And Konohamaru wakes up. That's all good. Konohamaru-sensei. Was I unconscious? And uh, Konohamaru suddenly rem remembers everything. Ow! It's alright. The fight is already over. I do wish, I will say, I do wish uh, the, like, the rest of the team would get in, would get in on a fight. But honestly, I really can't complain with the fights are this good. Like, this was just a great fight. So I heard from Kitasuke sensei Tibasa, As the hero of Kirigakure, you are an amazing shinobi. But I can't forgive you for killing our comrade. Do as you said, it all depends on how you use it. Capture him and interrogate him for Kare information. Do not kill him. Killing him is stupid. So when it comes to your power, shouldn't you be making the best use of it in the right way? And Ao looks at him. Boruto! We'll extradite out of Konoha. 
uh, contact headquarters and wait for reinforcements. All right. And yeah, Colonel Hammer's got the, got the good idea. Well, well, the way things are now, you all did very well. You were able to easily handle a mission that was, way be that was beyond the level of a Genian. Indeed, no matter where you go as a shinobi, you shouldn't feel embarrassed about it. I look forward to your futures. Wait a sec, isn't Kashin Koji nearby? Like, he was here a few minutes before the fight started. Is he right about to pop out? Oh, fuck. They're about to have Kashin Koji. And yet, uh, Mitsuki and Sarada look at Boruto, and he looks back at them. Uh, and Al just looks up, and yet there he is on the ruins. And Al's eyes widen, and there's Kashin Koji. Oh, we're fucked. And he just looks at them. Kashin Koji! And, uh, Boruto notices what's going on. Uh, Kuchiyose, Boiler Toad. He summons a Boiler Toad? Oh, fuck, that's a giant-ass frog. So yeah, uh, Kashin Koji summons, uh, this Boiler, Boiler Gama, it calls it, it says Boiler Toad, because this translator does not translate jutsu names. Uh, so yeah, there's the Boiler Toad, who's, like, way taller than the building. What? And it just destroys the building and drops down. Uh, an owl makes a hand sign. Uh, Water Style, Water Shockwave. And he has this whole, like, stream of water at Kashin Ko at Boruto to get him out of the way. Uh, Boruto and Konohamaru runs at Boruto right as the frog, like, crushes... I guess... Did he just kill Al, I guess? Uh, everyone, like, looks on in shock. And, like, the dust settles. And, yeah, it's, like, right on top of Al. He's, he's definitely dead this time. Gah. Gah. Oh, Chun, you saved me? Ow, oh, the hero of Kirigakure. So you use ninjutsu at the very last moment. Was that an impulsive decision? Or perhaps, to the bitter end, you wanted to die a noble death as a shinobi. Was he not using... I guess he was only using, like, taijutsu and scientific ninja tools during the fight. That's a cool... That's a cool note. All right. But yeah, he uses ninjutsu to save uh, Boruto. Who is that guy? This man isn't an ordinary person. My name is Kashin Koji. Pleased to meet you, Uzumaki Boruto-kun. The conflict hasn't ended. The entrance of the unfathomable man, Kashin Koji. Just what are his powers? Uh, Kashin Koji faces Boruto. Next issue is in uh, Weekly Shonen Jump 23, which releases on May 2nd. Alright, so first of all, I don't know if y'all have seen that crack theory about Kashin Koji being Jiraiya, and I still don't buy it, but I think this chapter very much gave it some more evidence. Um, so I expect that to be, like, making its way around the fandom. Because he just fucking summoned a toad, alright? He's been joked to be Jiraiya for a while, and he summons a toad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's Jiraiya. I'd be really pissed off if he's somehow Jiraiya. Because, for one, they already did the dead guy comes back from the dead, like, five seconds ago. And it is kind of like a running theme in Naruto that somehow people keep coming back. Especially with, like, all the flashbacks the anime has. Uh, but I just don't want him to be Jiraiya, because Jiraiya was just... He was a good guy, alright? Jiraiya was... Let one person be a hero, alright? Let one person have a heroic death. Who's not Who's not Itachi. Itachi got a heroic death, that's great. Um, but yeah, Kashin Koji's made his appearance um, to Boruto and the gang. And yeah, Ao, Ao is still alive, but I expect him to die next chapter. Ao's not going to survive next month. Now that being said, we do have to wait all the way until May for the next chapter... Um, I five weeks until next, uh, the next chapter, which is annoying. I wish this would be, like, a four-week series. Um, but if it's not gonna be, you know, we just gotta wait for five weeks. Uh, but yeah, we have this one hell of a cliffhanger, Kashin Koji, you know, making his appearance to Team Konohamaru and Katasuke, and they're so worn out from, the, like, especially Boruto from that Al fight, you know, Sarada and Mitsuki got, like, some downtime when they were, like, hiding. Uh, but, like, they just don't have the energy to beat Kashin Koji. So I I don't think Kashin Koji is going to be, like, trying to kill them. Maybe he'll, like, kill Katasuke or something, cause, or the, he'll kidnap Katasuke or something. But I don't think he's going to, like, actually have a fight next chapter. Uh, just because there's no way, you know, the group that barely beat Kashin Koji's subordinate five seconds ago is going to have the energy required to, like, go up against Kashin Koji. Um, I don't see that happening. But, yeah. Uh, what else? Otherwise, this chapter, once again, um, 
Boruto's just been like I know people like criticize the end of Naruto for like giving giving strategy away for just big giant fucking explosions going at each other. And what I really love about Boruto, especially in the post Momoshiki chapters, is it's really gone back to like nitty gritty uh, strategy based fight scenes. Like especially with Al, even back with Shojoji, you know those are kind of like the two big fights we've had after Momoshiki, um, and like they just keep hitting it out of the park with these great fight scenes. Um, and yeah, like, this was, like, a two-chapter-long fight, and it was just great. It was, like, really well done. The strategy was really interesting. Just seeing, like, everyone, like, the way Boruto, like, we really see that Boruto really is an intelligent person. Um, like, he, he thinks things through, like, to overcome his own weakness. And what I really hope for, I do hope, I know I just said I don't want Kachin Koji to, like, to fight, uh, but, like, given how, you know, overpowered, um, Boruto kind of, like, he's not overpowered, is what I'm about to get to, but, like, how his strategy helps him, like, overcome all these far more powerful opponents, I would really like to see him just get the, fl- like, have Kashin Koji wipe the floor with him next chapter, because, like, we need, we need to see that Boruto is not as on top of the wor- world as he kind of comes across at times, given how, like, many hard opponents he, like, outthinks. And we actually seen just, like, totally demolished in, like, a battle of, like, where all the strategy in the world will not save him. Uh, that'll just be great to see. Or, you know, make Kashin Koji a good strategist, like, better than Boruto. You know, there are all kinds of things you can do, and I'm really excited to see where the chapter, where the uh, next chapter goes next month, because this chapter is just really fucking good. And I really cannot wait to see where we go from here. Um, that's kind of all I have this month. Once again, these big fight chapters, while, while they are really good and really fun to talk about, there isn't a whole lot of, like, things that I expect about them, other than, like, oh, that was a really good strategy, or this was a really rewarding fight. Um, but yeah, I have full faith in this series going forward. This, these past couple arcs have been really fucking good. Um, so yeah. The art, you know, is still as really weird and non-Kishimoto-like as it's always been, uh, but I've kind of gotten used to that in the two years I've been reading this series. Um, but, like, it's just, that's just the art now. Uh, you know, so I'm just going to leave this chapter, this video here. I hope, I hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you didn't, drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye.